Have you ever heard of this theory where North and South America was really the promised land and that the real Egypt in the Bible is actually in North America? Now take a look at this. Half stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summits. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples atop those great pyramids. There are none there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americans. So you have the Berlin, the, the beloved land, Tameri. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end of it. So Tameri became a Mary Ta, we simply say America. We kept the name that Egypt gave to the Americans. So that was the big mystery behind that $10 million map that Martin Waltzmuller made and then put the name America on it in 1507. The promised land was North and South America. The promised land was North and South America. Were pyramids and temples as old as or older than those in Egypt? Because before the Great Pyramids arose on the ancient Giza Plateau in Egypt, thousands of miles to the west, a tribe in ancient civilization began constructing monumental structures. Tameri, right? We're talking about the original to Mary, to Mary, the beloved land. Supposedly, right, Napoleon, Napoleon was uh, invaded Egypt, right, in 1700s. But you know, the French were over here in the 1700s, right? This is what the Louisiana Purchase is all about. What Egypt were they really at? Now, I just want to show you this Lake of Egypt, huh? Lake of Egypt, Illinois, Mounds, Illinois. What's going on? Wait, Illinois? What are you talking about? Mounds and stuff like that, and Mound City, Mounds. What's more down right here? You see Cairo. Look at that Cairo. Cairo, Egypt. Egypt, Cairo, Cairo. Where are they getting all these names? Where they get? What's further downstream? Let's see what's further downstream. You keep going. You end up in Memphis. Memphis, Missouri. Memphis, many. Memphis, the original Memphis. You guys saw Cairo, right? Now look at this. When Lincoln came to Egypt, huh? When Lincoln came to Egypt, what you talking about? This is a book by George W. Smith. I just want to show you something. When Lincoln came to Egypt, it says here in the author's preface, it says only lately has his personal relations to the people and places in Egypt become matters of general interest. In the pages following, it shows that Lincoln was closely related to the people of Southern Illinois. The farmers of Egypt, now it says here, Egypt as as the far down state of Illinois was called, all right, Egypt, what? The, the bottom part of Illinois was called what? Egypt, all right, Egypt on the Great River. Remember, the real Nile, Egypt, the real Egypt. Where was um, the French Louisiana purchase? They had Egypt. Look, Egypt, 